Good morning, my scrumptious ravens. Welcome to day 126 of the Fixing My Life journey. For those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Raven, and 126 days ago, I decided to try and fix my life. So I was really sad and depressed and um, really unhappy with where I was in my life, and I decided to try and do something about it. So what I did is I made a short list of things that I wanted to change. Um, that short list is part of a much bigger list because there's a lot more that I want to change about my life But I had to start somewhere and I didn't want to overwhelm myself on taking by taking too much at one time So I made a short list of things that I thought I could possibly achieve and I basically track my progress with those things every day and some of them are things like my water intake my diet if I've worked out how many push-ups I've done um, if I've done my splits training, things that I want to, to achieve in my uh, in my life, and um, I'm hoping that by tracking these things and becoming more conscious of these things, I develop some good habits and get rid of some bad habits along the way. So that is basically the essence of this series, and we are on day 126. Um, it is right now. 941 and I know I technically should be super awake and pumping and jumping and I'm not I am so uh, tired I'm still out of it but last night was so fun so I made myself me a cup of tea and who says you can't have lunch for dinner be uh, lunch for breakfast baby look at this I just heated up Osmos my leftover Osmos meal and probably gonna have that as I work. I'm feeling just really tired. I did drizzle a little bit of coffee, coffee into my tea. So hopefully that doesn't make me poop, but I'll let you guys know. And I'm still on my first bottle of water. Hello, hello, my scrumptious ravens. Welcome to day 126. One second. Day one is day 126. Um, for those of you who don't know, my name is Raven and this is the Fixing My Life series. So basically the premise of the series is 126 days ago I decided to try to do something about my life because I was extremely sad and disappointed with where I was in my life. So what I decided to do is make a list of things that I thought was were kind of like achievable or doable and I started tracking my progress with each of those things that I wanted to change about my life. Some of them being what I eat in a day, how much water I take, what time I wake up, what time I go to bed, if I am praying and all of that. Things that I wanted to implement in my life that I found, that I thought were kind of doable. So I'm hoping that by tracking my progress with each of these things, I become more conscious of them and hopefully develop them into habits and break some bad habits along the way, all the while fixing my life. So that's what the series is about. It's uh, 4.15, doing my first check-in of the day. I'm almost done my second bottle of water. I've had some Osmos, so yesterday I had some of it, and today I just finished whatever was left over. It was chicken shawarma with some tzatziki sauce and tahini, and there was a little bit of salad and some rice and a little bit of fries. I also had two cups of tea with a little bit of coffee. Uh, I also had some chocolate chip cookies, but that is all I've eaten so far. So, again, not too bad, but not too good either. Just wanted to do a quick update for you guys uh, before I got back to work. It's been a uh, busy day, stressful day, and I'm just going to get right back into it. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. I really do. I really do. I hope. Hi guys. So it is 2.07 a.m. And your girl is going to head to bed now. I ended up drinking three bottles of water. I did one prayer. I ended up doing 20 push-ups. Knee push-ups. Um, I did do my splits training. Emotionally, it was a pretty 
huge day for me. Um, there was only one moment where I feel like I could have handled it better. I was speaking to my mom and I was venting about something and she was like constantly interjecting and I just continued speaking because I would lose my train of thought if I hadn't. And I felt like that was kind of rude. So I shouldn't have done that. And unfortunately, I think she seems to do that a lot. When I'm venting, I kind of just need you to be quiet and just like let me vent with occasional like, wow, are you serious? <laughs> like just little bits of acknowledgement. And if you want to ask a question, just kind of like know when to ask it or time it in an appropriate manner. And um, I think because I was already pretty heated when I was venting, her interjecting didn't help. And of course, I wish I handled that better and didn't just continue kind of like talking over her. Um, so I just got to get better at situations when I'm stressed and at least I'm conscious of it. But I got to do more than just be conscious of it. I got to try to do something about it. So, um, hopefully next time the opportunity comes that this type of thing happens, I'm able to handle it better. Um, I ended up, okay, so I want to share something really, really, really sweet with you guys. Um, I did end up having bubble tea. Um, it's like cold, I think it's called cool. also had this like wild berry green tea half of that along with um a little bit of a shawarma sandwich so let me tell you about the shawarma sandwich um shout out to Habibi for being so thoughtful and sending me a treat and the reason I'm mentioning this is that it was really really special to me and I want to take time to really recognize something good that happened to me. I don't really believe in many coincidences. I do think that there is generally a purpose for most things and um, what I believe is that, um, not to get too religious, so if you're uncomfortable with religion or any kind of religious talk, just skip forward. Um, what I believe is that God loves us all and he does not come down and love us. He sends his love through people to us and through situations that make you feel like someone's watching over you. So, um, yesterday I ordered shawarma because I was like craving something. I didn't know what I was craving, but I was just craving something like maybe a wrap, maybe shawarma plate with like sauce and like a little bit of sweet, but a little bit of spicy. So I ordered a sh chicken shawarma plate and I got it. And unfortunately, although it was absolutely scrumptious, it didn't like hit the spot, you know? So I thought to myself yesterday, I was like, you know what, there is one specific wrap I always get, like this big ass thick wrap from uh, Osmos. It's got some pineapples in it, so it makes it a little sweet, but it's hella spicy as well with some chicken and sauces and veggies and it's amazing. So I was like, I think that's going to hit my craving. I'm going to get that today. So I already made the intention that I was going to buy it today. But as you guys saw, life was so busy, like work was so busy that like literally the only break, break I took was in the morning when I woke up and I washed up and everything. I went, I made my tea at like 8.30. I heated up my food, like food, food, Osmos, the leftover shawarma stuff at 8.30 and I kept the plate beside me. It was like a half, half of a plate and I was just eating it while I was working and I was just so busy with work that I didn't really realize that I didn't like properly eat and that I was hungry but I wasn't like really hungry and that I didn't buy the shawarma wrap and then 
Rose Kumi. I think they sent me um, a treat. And unfortunately, the place was closed that from where he sent the treat. So, Treat Streams sent. And, like, they just randomly picked an alternate meal. And guess what it ended up being? The exact same shawarma wrap that I was supposed to get today that I was going to buy for myself. Like, that just blows my mind. I, I can't. I can't. Like, it brought tears to my eyes when it came because I didn't know what it was. So as soon as I grabbed the bag, I was like, that's crazy. Like, wow. That's beautiful. And it's moments like that that I look at as, oh my god, it's crazy how, like, close God is to us. And he sometimes just, like, satisfies our little wishes, grants our little wishes that we have, you know? And he, he makes some kind of way. I didn't ask Habibi. I, I didn't, like, if Habibi hadn't sent it to me, I just wouldn't have had my rap today. And it's just insane how everything worked out. The place was closed. And Treat Streams could have chosen so many things from the list, and that's what they chose. Like, that's crazy. Crazy, man. Crazy. Like, crazy. Anyways, um, I find it really important to recognize moments like these, because I know a lot of people will look at moments like these and be like, what an amazing coincidence. Wow. But I feel when people look at these kinds of things like coincidence, it's almost disrespectful in my opinion. Just in my personal opinion. Because you're completely taking away from how incredible and like almost is it's like for example if I the new job that I have if I was like isn't it such an amazing coincidence that someone reached out to me and I got a new job amazing coincidence um you're denying in my opinion you're denying that there was some other force at work and you're kind of putting all of the credit to you and just chance, just chance. So I do take these moments very seriously and I really, you know, watch them and I observe them and um, recognize them. So, of course, to each their own, like everyone views things differently. This is how I view it and I try my best not to look at those things as coincidences. So, anyways, that is my little dollop.